you? I'm sorry I can't join you this evening. A prior engagement came up in Berlin. How's business? It's early and we've just opened. I trust everything is on schedule. Of course. My documentation, Nicola. Adam. I thought about sending over Dieter and Brandt, but they were scared of patrons of. Unbelievable. And how is your career as a torture officer for the high command going? They had to let me go, I'm afraid. Not everyone agreed to my methods, but I always get results. And as you see, some even decided it was in their best interest to work with me. My man and I, I've got a job to do. You'll find documentation allowing you access across the checkpoints in South America. There is also satellite grid reference points, military mission briefings, and command appointment of the Wolfpack as soon as you dispose of their current leader, Captain Schnell. Understood. And what of my Wolfpack? Tell them whatever necessary to get the job done. It's your outfit now. Bring me back my prize and you and your men will be looked after, Commander. Please, both you and your Aryan Dawn fanatical group don't have the balls to carry out this mission. You'll be surprised at the size of my balls. Devon will see you taken care of. She is ex-Israeli Special Forces assassin. Has she been searched? Check her now. A is in free line.
bitch. Hey, 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 oh, fuck it in, you two, fuck it in. Bloody hell, you bunch of kids. Right, pay attention. I've got the bi-monthly newsletter here. It's the usual bullshit, but there's a pretty cryptic crossword on page three. I know you like that. Sweet. Right, I have, I have here the cards from the suggestion, suggestion box for this month. I will not be submitting these to Brigade, and I think you know for the why. Right, let's see. Naked Tuesdays. Yes. <laughs> uh, lap dancing beer strippers. Oh, I don't Bob. even know what that is. Yeah. And it looks like it's written in shit. It's Twiglets. Oh, aye, cheers, aye. Thanks, Bob. Nice one. Uh, bring back Metal Mickey. Why? It'll never be as good as you remember it. To be fair, boss, they brought back Battlestar, and that was terrible. Uh, oh. Uh, this one's, uh, this one's by Anonymous. I suggest Bob stop snoring like a warthog before I stick my fist down his throat and pull out his lower intestines. That's, uh, that's a fair point, that, Bob. You do sound like a pig when you snore. Fair enough, boss. Yeah, oh, what's this? I suggest, in order to stop an awful, that, that should be an awful, I think, you, you mean there, or an authorised stamper in note reading at suggestion cards prior to monthly meeting, we implement some sort of sensor warning device or locking mechanism, possibly a key. This could be mounted next to the suggestion box, in a box. Uh, this one's from Flash Gordon from Crapsville. With reference to the last suggestion, to stop people gaining entrance to the suggestion box using suggestion box key in the suggestion box key box, I suggest Major Cross swallows the key at the start of month, then regurgitates or poops out the key prior to the monthly briefing. Peter Young. Alternatively, we need a suggestion box key box key to secure the suggestion box key box. This could be kept in a box by the suggestion box and the suggestion box key box. Oh, looking good! I don't time! You wanna get it? Boy. Do not underestimate them, Otto. They are highly trained professionals and they do not play games. Eat my balls. <laughs> now ditch the weapons in here and come on. Sorry. Settle down, settle down. These are healthy safety cards or near miss cards. Brigade, they want us to fill this in whenever we see anything, any kind of issue to do with health and safety and near miss and all that bloody corporate buggering bollocks. Yeah, you got it, boss. Right, so I'll give you a couple of these out of each here. Right, it's very important, anything you see that could cause an accident or injury, fill them in and I'll get them sent off. And no pissing around this time, right? And when Miller and Kowalski, when they come back off the leave, I'll tell them the same. Jerry's are here. Oh, the Germans are here, the Jerry's are here. Oh, oi, Bishop, right, boy. Oh. Remember last year when Russians come? And you had... Yeah, don't... Yeah, oh, you could laugh now, son, you could laugh now. And you instigated that bloody drinking game and three of them got hospitalised and had to get bloody winched off in chopper. Yeah. None of that this time. Oh, yeah. that's Come on. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to the... Welcome to Eagle's Nest. Hello, my line, Bishop. Fucking hell. Welcome to Eagle's Nest. Come on in. Dollar men's across. Come on in. Hello. Hello. Wave hello, lads. This is the wolf pack. Oh, cool. The wolf pack. So do all of you have, like, uh, canine-related sort of...
call sign nickname, you know, like Hyena and Doberman, you know. But where, where, where the birds of prey, I, I'm Condor. No! We don't have stupid nicknames related to dogs. I'm Raven. This is Eagle, our leader. Hello. We are the wolf pack. That is our call sign. Owl. Oh, pack it in, bitch. They're not doing that. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm an owl. Woo! Right, come on. Move in. Come in and drop your kit off here and come to the briefing area. We'll tell you what's going on over the next few days for your jungle training package. Right, take a seat, guys. That German over there got tits in his right. Hey, love. Over here. Men. My name is Major Leighton Cross, and this is my team of instructors, Corporal Bishop, Lance Corporal Boxer, and Bob. <coughs> Hiya. Over the next four days, we aim to teach you the basics of jungle survival. You, what can you tell me about the jungle? The jungle is massive. I, I, I guess it is. I, I suppose the jungle can be massive. It could be a scary place to the untrained chap. We plan to change that. You will learn how to fight, adapt, and survive in hostile jungle conditions. We will teach you to hunt, track, and trap individual beasts, wildlife, and berries which are safe to eat. You will be eating, but never mind. And you also learn what water holes, if any, to drink from. You will learn unarmed combat from Corporal Bishop and from Boxer. And, and Bob will be there too. Okay. Field craft skills, fighting and manoeuvrement in dental conditions, especially at night in zero visibility, and acclimatise you to the heat, the sounds and the creatures of the jungle. I can see some of you, you're a bit unconvinced. Who's this old codger telling me how to be a soldier? What does that mofo get off, dude? Gentlemen, I've spent the last 20 years in every yellow that you can imagine. Borneo, Belize, Bradford, Africa, Laos, Rhodesia, San Serif, Crimea, I, I will just stand by the river there, Crimea River. Boss, nobody? I told you that one first. You will learn fighting skills used against the Japanese army in Malaysia and Burma. Close quartered tactics designed by the Chindi Tengurkas over 50 years ago. These techniques brought us victory in WW2 against them sausage eating on and all their mother nutters. I hope you realise that all my men are from German descent. Go on, that's good, you'll know exactly what I mean then. This is not 1944, Major. My men are trained to kill, and we can kill Russians. Oh, well, no offence taken, lad, no offence taken. I tell you what, a couple of years ago, I was working as a survival, survival, uh, survival guy for the BBC. And I saved my good friend, David and Anne, for his life, from wrestling the Kimono Dragon into submission. Do they teach you that in Berlin? No, oh, do they buggery? Eh? Biggest killer in the jungle. Anybody? Is it malaria? Good, good, but no. Uh, someone else. Zippo. Try again. The monkeys. Monkeys, fuck off. No, biggest killer in the jungle, Deadfall. It'll squash you like a pancake. Watching for a complete demonstration. <laughs> oh, keep the noise down. As with all my jungle survival schools, there will be no weapons or live fire on set on the, near this area. But I do expect you to treat it as a tactical training exercise where possible. In a minute, I will be handing you over to my instructors for this evening's events. This evening, you will prepare your defensive positions, post sentries. Hey, who goes there? Not now, not now and prepare your evening meals. What you got there, soldier? Meat free moussaka with mung beans. You disgust me. Any questions? Good. Questions lead to answers. Question everything and get your answers and truly you will learn. Instructors, take over. You heard the major. Get your stuff together, lots of work to do, work to do for bedtime. Come on lads, move in. Get some kit lads. Oh, oh, oh. 
Fucking slimmer suit, who brought that? Yeah, uh, this put me on the diet again. Again? Right, I've read this one before. Could do a good film to watch right about now. Point Break or Commander? Oh, I love that film. The one with Keanu Reeves and, uh, oh, what's Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte? Nick Nolte's not in it. Uh, yeah, he is. He plays um, Johnny Utah's FBI partner. That's Gary Busey, you bellend. Nick Nolte. Who the fuck's Gary Busey? Gary fucking Busey. He was in Under Siege. Surviving the game and Predator 2. Uh, Predator 2. No, I've never seen it. You've never seen Predator 2. Everybody's seen Predator 2. Predator 2? You've never even seen the first one. What the fuck? Are you too serious? Oh, you bastard. You okay there, boss? Oh, no, it's alright. It's alright. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'm just going to go check out the troops. See what, uh, see what they're up to. Shut up, you gay. That's not what I mean. Me? It's modern day, and I've been approved to put together my own magnificent seven. There's me, and you, Major, obviously, Stax, and three others. And we're taking a whole army of Mexican banditos. Oh, I'm with you, mate. I keep on having this precarious one about zombie apocalypse. And it's, uh, well, all I've got really is a jetpack. And a lightsaber. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably some kind of samurai armor and stuff as well. Me, a bottle of Rehypno inside the Playboy Mansion. Starkers. <laughs> Sorry, Bob, mate, you magnificent sir, man. Fuck, he does. <laughs> Silly young fuck. <laughs> oh, that's Major Cross's brother in law and best bud, just slagging off her, mate. Probably the only remaining family that he's got. You should hear what the Major's one is. He told me last month, mentally it was, something about being inside some sort of mechanical exoskeleton cockpit with missiles or some shit. Oh, keep it to yourself, mate. <laughs> I put him for a pulse into the front line. Major Blood's outfit. Uh, need some action, man. No offence, but if I stay here any longer, I'll just end up as crazy as the Major. Oh. Oh, wait for me, mate. Wash your hands, you dirty shit. Oh, yeah. Bad you did. <laughs> hey, 
manager. My men would like to challenge your men to a game of football. Football are eh? That's that one with the uh, little round ball and them big poles, isn't it? Right, you're on, son. Okay. I'll get changed. I don't know when you know what. Hold on, hold on. Strategies, Bishop, for the second half. Got an idea. Hi. Going on. It's quite early. We've got another beer. Do you reckon, Bob? Just means that meeting the feet between the owners. It's only a game plus we get a beer. So what you're saying, Bishop, is if we let these Germans beat us, let us beat us at our own game, just because you want to be here. That's your idea, is it? Huh? Have you got a better one? Is that your idea? Is that is that what you're saying? Yeah. To me, you your officer. Idea? Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good well 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 Come on, get the beer, dude. Bloody hell, boxer! What are you doing? Get inside, you idiot! Sorry, boss. Bloody unprofessional. Look what I found with one of the Nazis. I think it's some sort of time travel device. You know what? You're talking bloody rubbish, son. Look at it. That gives me an idea. Come on. Come with me. <coughs> oh, Jesus, that was mental. Right. Oh, if this is what I think it is, be prepared. Be prepared, Bishop. Right. Follow me. Come on. Congratulations, Frau Hitler. It's a boy. I will call him Adolf. Oi, Doc. Yeah, I got it, I 
Professional, we'll get, we'll get him there. Yep. Yeah. Before after two more goals, they would learn a thing or two. Oh, yeah, I know. Do you remember them Chinese we had that time? Or was it before the Russians went it? Yes. Uh, what ever happened to them? I can't even remember them leaving. Look, Major Cross can't find out about his spot. As far as he knows. Chinese they left. Yeah. Can't know. They just left the jungle and just take them off. Don't break that. What is alcohol poisoning anyway? It's alright, son. Teach you when you're older. Oh, it's just good. Oh, that's a bloody strange one, that's a colleague. Them Germans will be on the uh, ration packs tonight anyway. First night, see how they get on. You're right there, Bob. Doing a good job, son. Your mum will be proud of you. Today, uh, the boss is doing, doing 
Bloody blue chairs, fuck the rubber chairs. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. Bloody amateurs. Morning, ladies. Let's go. Get up. Fall in ten minutes. Come on. Hard speed. Hey, come on, pal. Let's go. Move. Get your kit squared away. Go to school first. Good morning. <laughs> morning, Kessler. Hope you slept all right. Make sure you check them boots for wee beasties. The jungle, remember? Swine hunt. Hey up! What are you listening to there, son? Is that that uh, Justin Bieber lake or uh, Merlin's penis? Merlin's penis? Miss Merlin's cock? Oh no 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 no! Not Merlin's penis. Gandalf's cock. Gandalf's cock. What? One direction. One direction. That's him. One direction. That's fucking hell. I knew I. Oh, shit. I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh. Sorry, right. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier, come here and smell me. Smell me. Have a sniff. What do I smell of? Yeah, sort of a nasty woody smell, sir. Go, Bishop, sniff that man. Well, let's toss up between peppermint toothpaste, lavender facial wipes, and ocean body spray. And in conclusion, Corporal, it smells like a man or boss. That's right, you smell like a newer. I smell like a tree. And you smell like an oar. Granted, if you were bopping with your mates down at the discotheque, it would probably be better to smell like a prostitute than an orc tree. But the only thing getting laid around here is... Bishop, help me out. Chicken eggs. Eggs? Oh, yeah, my eggs are getting cold. Come on, Bishop. I suggest you go and smell your men, Sergeant. Smells like a bloody brothel. How long is this shit like going on for, Ken? Not long now. Find me my location. I've identified four possible locations, Colonel. Excellent work. You know the drill. Carry on. lessons for you. Today is pair star manoeuvre, working together as a team to get from one piece of cover to the next while under enemy fire. Tomorrow we'll be doing such things as close court battles in the uh, dense parts of the jungle there, uh, booby traps and we'll do a session on edible wildlife, fungi etc that you can find inside. Uh, what we're going to do now is me and Bob's going to show you <coughs> What to do for pairs for our manoeuvre? Me and Bob are going to give a quick demonstration now. Yeah. As you see, Bob's down in cover now, so he can pop up and give me covering fire. 
so I could be ready to move. You always, at all times, need to be speaking to your partner, telling them what you're doing. So if you get stuck, like you get a stoppage on your weapon or you get an empty magazine and you can change over, make sure you tell your partner so they can keep on giving cover and fire. So then obviously you've always got something going down the way to stop the enemy. Right, so Bob's going to pop up now, simulate some fire for me. So I can move. Move it! Okay, as you can see, I'm now in cover. I can shout to Bob, so Bob can move up and I can give him cover and fire. Bob, move! Right, there you go. Bob's got a magazine chain, so I need to carry on fire until he's sorted that. Right lads, it's not too hard. Obviously, we've got no weapons at the moment because we're doing it dry to get it, stay safe, keep it practice. Anybody got any questions? No, right, who's next? We need the first pair of volunteers. Okay troops, I'm Lance Corporal Boxer and today I'm going to take you through tracking. Follow me. Right, Sid Little, what can you tell me about field craft? Making little animals. Making little animals? That's hobby craft, you're getting totally mistaken there. Field craft, jungle survival, anything? What have you learnt so far from Bishop and Bob? Live fire. Live fire? We're not doing live firing. Uh, Boxer's going to be running you through some tracking later on. That should be fun for you anyway. Uh, you, school fake family boy, you think tracking down. Are you getting to the Didn't think so. Oh, hello, Bob. Dinner's ready. Come on, lad, dinner's ready. Come on. Like a walk through sheets or whatever, you know, put a feet in, take it easy. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fritz! Yeah. Fritz! Fritz! Had dinner on the go, what? What? What's, what's the ones with the, uh, the jelly babies and jelly beans in it? Oh, super mix. That's the ones. <laughs> and them little eggs. Mm. I don't like the uh, yolks. Star mix. Though. Star mix. I don't like the eggs. Uh, why do you not like the eggs? I don't know. I eat the yolk and I chuck the white. <laughs> That's a bit rampant. Oi! Mindle! Get up your lazy ass and do some work. So unprofessional. Oh, my Did you want that to see me, Roger? Oh, afternoon, Kessler. Come in, take a seat. Can I offer you a drink? Give him a kaplunk. 
I'm more of a chess player. Do you have a chess board? Cheese board? Oh, chess board. No, I can offer you Hungry Hungry Reef Rose or uh, Buckaroo, I think we've got somewhere. I think we've lost most of the little pieces. Sure you're all okay for a tipple? Have you read the book, The Art of War by Sun Tzu? Don't say I have Sun Tzu, no. Have you read uh, Spike Milligan's Hitler and my part in his downfall? Can't say I have. I must go on, my men are waiting. Right, I'll get to the point, Commander. There's a couple of things being bothering me. Firstly, I've noticed your troops digging all over the North training sector. Fire trenches, Major. Part of the jungle training. Fuck off, Kessler, that's bullcrap. I've heard alarming reports of choppers flying and landing, and Bob has seen troop movement at the beachhead. We got them in. I, I simply can't account for these numbers and what they're doing here. This was definitely not in my orders from Brigade, and uh, apparently they're, they're armed. This is not part of the training package, let me tell you. I've, been also, I've also heard some upsetting rumours from base. There's been a nightclub destroyed in the UK, right? <laughs> Apparently 30 people killed, including the daughter of the German foreign minister. <laughs> Apparently this club was a front for the British chapter of the Aryan Dawn. There's been a spot of plane, ah, that's been seen, circling our area yesterday. And of course, that mysterious disappearance of your predecessor, Captain Schnell. I find this all very alarming, Colonel, and I'll place men on standby back at the gate. Let me tell you a story, Major. My grandfather was a proved colonel-in-chief of Hitler's staff. Shortly after Operation Valkyrie to personally uphold the safety of the Führer. After the Eagle's Nest fell, he arranged for the executions of most of Hitler's staff and his double in the bunker. And Frank Berlin had captured the Allied aircraft troops to South America. Poppycock, I heard it were Argentina. The only stopped there for some corned beef. I can assure you this, it is a truth class. My grandfather made detailed notes. Nicola and her alien friends have contacts in high places. And then they discovered the aircraft were filled with liberated priceless artifacts that funded my little trip here and gave me the necessary clearance to cover the Operation Mastermind. That's your gold, eh? Yeah. This is just a bloody glorified treasure hunt, isn't it? It's only a matter of time before I do what I want. Especially now I'm in charge over here. Unfortunately, Nicola and Captain Schnell, your mercenary scum, won't be around to see my triumph. Checkmate, Major. Hands up, Fritz. Buckaroo, Colonel. I've heard enough of this. Don't speak English. Bastard. Sorry, boss. I thought it was nothing. So what are these? Neo Nazis or something? No, I think they just turn up Nazis. They're not robot Nazis, ghost Nazis, space Nazis, or zombie Nazis. No, I don't think so, Bob. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Are they time travelling Nazis? Because that would be cool. Yes, Major, is a game of patience. Anticipating your enemy's next move and knowing when to sacrifice your troops in order to win the war. Your board is your battlefield and your players are your army. Give your strategy! <laughs> You're testing my patience, Major Goss! Oh, yours, Kessler! If he moves, eliminate him! Alright guys, you get caught too. We got me. They don't die. Right for now. Right, Bob. You trying? Get that shot for down. The full colonel.
bring up Jackie Patrona. What are you doing? I told you so, Bob. Bring in the reinforcements. Time for action. Frankenstein's monster more like I heard on the investigation his nerves were weakened. Yeah. By the colonel. I heard he had sex with farm animals. What's wrong with that? No, no. Everything is wrecking a sparkwork, Lighton. You're living in a dream world, Kessler. There's no gold here. You talk talking rubbish, son. I think it's time to put you out of your misery. Leg it, boss. We got you covered. No! Oh, you dirty backstabber. Get a bit of warning next time, I'll have helped. for the Lost Ark of the Covenant, the Indiana Jones found it years ago, mate. Any ideas, mate? Off the top of my head, Boxer, we dig three tunnels directly underneath the Goon Towers and 50 feet short of the woodland and dispose of the tunnel soil from my trousers' pockets. Well, let's be a dick about it. Hey, Mr. Sweet Talker, you gonna talk me this way? The myth of a father found me the one We just lost three men, Kurt. That bastard cross lured them into a minefield. Calm down, Otto. Calm down. The Major's made his move. Now it's ours. Go and get him. Bring the prisoners. 
Yeah. We'll find it. Carry out your orders, Herr Hauptmann. Clear from the beach yet, and into the middle. Get your spotter planes in the air, and fire on signal. Kessler out. Over and out. Helicopters everywhere. Mm -hmm. Hey, it'll be dark soon. That's when the fun will begin. Whittle down some of these idiots. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering, do you reckon it'd be a massive hassle if I get one of these guys' attention to see if I can get escorted to the bog? Or shall I just piss myself off? <laughs> <laughs> out! Out! I think we found it! The box! The box! Tesla! Tesla! I think we found it! It's the box! You may want to come and have a look at this! Excellent! Lord it aboard the chopper, I'll be there very soon! Let's get it open! See what's inside of it! Nein! Mein Gott! You bastard! I'm Impressing me. You're not buggering and impressing anybody. <laughs> Go away, wizard. Go away. Go away, wizard. <laughs> Leave me. Leave me be. <laughs> 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 
You, Bishop. How much you not getting paid, then? Shut up. How much do you get paid? Euros, yeah. dollars, pounds. Euros. Shut up. Where's the major?
Why have you let us out into a field? Ah, I see. You and I now, Bishop. Come on. You got the time? Why, Bishop? You got somewhere to be? No, don't be enough, I just want to know. Well, it's, uh... Germany won, England won. We may not have won the football, but we've won the war. Actually... Hmm, donkey shite. Hey Fritz, oh. how's about a fag for a condemned man? Go on. Bring up Jackal Squadron, back up Tesla, and find me that box! I will deal with the Englanders myself. Poppy little terror. He nearly sawed his head off. He shoots him again, and he's done in. What's wrong with ya? Come on. We were taking you and me. It's buffering. We need to get to the nest to make a defensive stand. Lethal weapon. He played Mr. Joshua in Lethal Weapon. Oh, Gary Busey. Oh, no, you mean now? Let, let's get Harry. Yeah. Oh, brilliant film, but... No, no, it, it wasn't in Point Break. Point Break, Gary Busey. I fucking told you, boxer. No one likes a smart ass bishop. Yeah, have, have a look for a film. Um, oh no, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of terrorists. who are planting bombs on the Eiffel Tower. I think they, oh, I think they escape using like zip wires or something like that. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely not Superman the movie. 
but um, I think it's got Britt Eklund's in it. I saw it a few years ago. No. You're not going to get all psychotic if I can't find it or it's not available on DVD like when you eventually track down the humanoid with James, James Bond's jaws, are oh, yeah. Oh, that was my favourite kind of film as a kid. That that was the film Star Wars could have been. It's called Hostage Tower. Uh, Peter Fonda. Douglas Fairbanks Jr. What the fuck is...
Germans at one o'clock. Right, okay.
out of ammo. Fucking hell. Hey. Let me save you for a ride. Yeah. Get down! Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Get that barricade! Get over, get over! Come on! That's it. Stop the war. Everyone stop firing. Take a fag break or something. That's a keg you owe me for one that, you knobhead. A keg. A keg? Piss off. I'll get you a crate. And how am I supposed to get a keg into the jungle anyway? And how, how are we going to cool it? That's 80 pints. Highly unrealistic. Okay, a crate. But I want premium beer. Not that supermarket cheap piss water. Uh, go, go on about your drama queen. Jesus. I said I'm sorry. Don't affect, forget a crate. In fact, write it down. I want written evidence. And I'm writing a yellow card. Definite health and safety incident, that. Right, restart the war. Come out and play! Come out and play with Brad! It's over, Major! He has the box! Come out and play! Ah! Where are you? Fine, 
could do with a crate of beer. The least you could do for blowing, nearly blowing my bloody head off. Stop banging on about that. He's miles away. Complete exaggeration. What about whiskey? No, whiskey gives me a banging headache. What about peach snaps? Peach snaps, that's well gay. But what about when you nearly blew me up when we went to Panama? You don't see me banging on about that all the time, do you? I've never been to Panama. Well, who was that then? How would I know? I want you, and I am going to kill you. Where are they? Oh, hang on. What? Don't you? Hello? Boxer? Yeah. Have you had an accident in the past three years that wasn't your fault? It's been done in half an hour. Come on, fuck off. Get on the net, get Kessler, and find the Major. Find the Mercenaries. Hey, you know they remade the Karate Kid? What? Yeah. Uh, Jackie Chan teaches Will Smith's kids Kung Fu. So it's a Kung Fu kid? No, it's still a Karate Kid. Where are you going? Boxer, I'm going to go and take down Kessler. If I can get the chief, the rest of them buggers should revert back to their human selves. Well, sir, they're not vampires, they're Nazis. I, 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 I know that. I had to go in there, Boxer. <laughs> go on, go on. Don't need these, then. Oh, what the fuck? 
That's not gold. You are going to die, Major Cross. You're going to die. Do you, uh, do you remember the, the first thing I taught you back at briefing, Gessler? Huh? Remember the first lesson I gave you? Always watch out for deadfall. <laughs> Hitler. Hitler? Can't be. Let me tell you a story, Major. My grandfather was a <laughs> chief of Hitler's staff. Shortly after Operation Valkyrie to personally uphold the safety of the Fuhrer. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Check his balls, he's only supposed to have one. Shh. Oh God, you can Get check in that. There. No. Oh. No, there's nothing there. Yeah. Check this out. Hey, Bishop! <laughs> I'm the Fuhrer! Not so impressive now anymore, are you, buddy? Oh, How much do you reckon we could get for him on eBay? About 20 quid. That it? We got the bloody hell out of here, lads. Hey, boss. Look what's in this box. What's this? Hitler. <laughs> so bloody Hitler. I thought it was meant to be gold. Boss. Found this in the office. I think Sergeant Brandt left it there. Looks like some kind of enterized explosive device to me, son. Give it to Bishop. He'll make sure he gets back to his rightful owner. Good like that. Whoa there, stop firing! It's not gold, it's in the bones!
どうも。Come on, boys, let's get the bugger and another out of here. This way, come on, come on. Not napalm, still with anybody in it. We're a good home. We're our home. Poor Bob. Come on, lads. I'll buy you a pint. Do one right now. That's him. One direction. Aye, right, we're in there. He's in there for thinking. I'm alright. I'm alright. <laughs> He has only got one ball. <laughs> <laughs>